Neil Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 60, my dear, and loving son John. Your good friend, the schoolmaster, Pat McNamara, so good as to write these words down. Your brothers have all gone to find work in England. The house is so empty and sad. The crop of potatoes is sorely infected. A third to half of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. Your mother says not to work on the railroad. Be sure to come on home soon. Kill Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 17, my dear, loving son John. Hello to your missus and to your four children. May they grow healthy and strong. Michael has got in a wee bit of trouble. I guess that he never will learn. Because of the dampness, there's no turf to speak of. And now there's nothing to burn. Bridget is happy and named a child for her. You know she's got six of her own. You say you found work, but you don't say what kind or when will you be coming home. Jill Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 19. I guess that I must be close on to Hades, 30 years since you're gone. Because of all of the money you sent me, I'm still living out on my own. Michael has built himself a fine house. Bridget's daughters are grown. Thank you for sending your family picture. The lovely young women and men. Well, you say that you might even come for a visit. What joy to see you again. Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 92, to my dear brother John. I'm sorry I didn't write sooner to tell you that father passed on. He was living with Bridget, she says he was cheerful and healthy right down to the end. Oh, you should have seen playing with the grandchildren of Pat McNamara, your friend. And we buried him alongside of Mother down at the Kilkelly churchyard. He was a strong and feisty old man, considering his life was so hard. Funny the way he kept talking about you and called out for you in the end. Oh, why don't you think about coming to visit? We'd love to see you again.